I love that. Yeah, it feels really grand with that kind of thing. It it looks smooth too. Damn. You know, because I played the demo of this game back then, and now we are here at the full version of the game. This is book one, by the way, of Hard Fragment. So I have actually played the demo, and when I'm seeing this, it's just there's a lot of huge improvement, definitely. It's an interesting romance mystery visual novel, I guess, with our main character is this person, which by default name is Sunny, but you can name her anything. So, oh my, lovely. So this game is developed by Heart Fragment VN, and I was given a copy to play with. And here we are. Oh, I'm I'm excited to play this game. I've been kinda giving some, you know, time in my playing slot so I can play this game. And now we can play it. So yeah, enough talk. Let's start the game, shall we? We are returned, Sunny. Oh, I miss you. And all of you. This game contains potentially triggering and or I straining screen effects. Would you like to turn this off? No, I'm good with that. View tutorial, nah, I'm good. Receive notification when an affection level or personality factor is changed. Hum. Uh, wait, I'm kinda... You know what, I'm gonna go with this, because perhaps some of you haven't watched Heart Fragment yet, and want to know a little bit how how this game goes, right? I, I, I play the demo, but maybe you haven't seen me play it or haven't played this game yet. By the way, this game is available on Steam, you can check the link in the description of the video below. So, yeah, I think this is a good configuration, let's start. Ah, yes. Stars. Somewhere in this world, a world filled with tragedy, filled with pain, mm -hmm. filled with people whose hearts have fragmented over time as they experience misfortune. Yep. Ah, uh -huh. I miss this. Somewhere in this world. At genus? Away, right? Yeah, perhaps that's the word. Mm hmm. Somewhere, perhaps. If such an ending does in a way to set some point along the road, what was the point of traveling it in the first place? I could run, I could do it, I could run. Interesting. This is definitely a huge improvement. But There's a lot of it. Maybe... Is a happy ending really just an end point in your life? Maybe it's an ongoing journey. Maybe people shouldn't see one ultimate happy ending, but mm -hmm. multiple happy endings along the way. Will be. <laughs> or maybe that's stupid. I don't really know. But... I can lose them. What do you mean? I can't find the answer. Tragedy can't be the only option. Please. I want to believe that at least. Oh, it, it will done. I mean, I'm here. I will then let it end on tragedy. I assure you that. Uh huh. Because I'm here. And now I'm gonna defy fate. Ah. Good luck finding it. That happy ending we all hope for. I don't need your good luck, I will find it. Ooh. Mask. Ah. Oh, I'm loving it. Look at that. God, God dang. Welcome to Heartbreak. Oh. 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 I'm simply woving all the time, <laughs> sorry. Uh-huh. Please be aware. Oh. Mild horror based themes are present in this game. If you are sensitive to sudden noise, unnerving image, or content that deals with serious subject matter, please proceed with caution. Ah, oh, thank you. Wait, why do I say thank you? Ah, oh, thank you for reminding me of this, but I'm okay. 
But should I? Yeah, I, I, I just wait because isn't it lovely to just enjoy the transition? This game is intended for players age 12. Damn, uh, that's a shame. I'm achievement unlocked. Nostalgia. What? Wait, what? What nostalgia? Before we get started, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have to check that achievement out. What? What do you mean by nostalgia? I get an achievement. I'm sorry you can see see that because I need to record the game screen. My my computer is not strong enough to record the whole desktop. Okay, I don't really understand what that achievement is, but it seems sweet. Before we get started, sure. Ah, Sunny! I miss you. You can name her. Wait, is Sunny? Yeah, what is Sunny's pronoun? I think it's her, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Sunny. We, we, you can go with any other name you want to, but I just prefer this. Then let us begin, Sunny. The dialogue box design is simply wonderful. It, the text is easy to read and it looks very aesthetic. And easy to understand, uh, and have an easy to understand quick menu. Oh. Act Zero Truth and Lies. Lana, Lana, read me a story. Oh, chill, Sunny. Not child. Child, not chill. Uh, not child, Sunny, what do you call it? Little Sunny. Yeah. Aw, hello, Lana. <laughs> all right, all right. What story did you want to hear this time? Oh, that, that's so sweet. Hello, little Sunny. Hello, Lana. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh. That one again? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Did I stutter, lady? Uh huh. Oh. Please. You sure do love Little Red, don't you? Mm -hmm. Is she your favorite? Perhaps. Yeah. The little child, wa child was eight already, but she still loved hearing stories. Doesn't the wolf scare you? Yeah, I mean the wolf is scary, but. When you grow up, uh, being uh, have to pay taxes is more scary. No, -uh, I'm scarier than him. Roar! Oh. And such an imagination. <laughs> you got mm -hmm. me. You got me. You got me. Definitely. You're a brave little girl, aren't you? Indeed. Or Sunny is late. Not little. Brave. A brave little girl. That's our little Sunny. Come up onto my lap. I'll read the book for you. Okay. Yay! Thank you, Lana. Uh huh. Lana, when will Mom be home? Oh no. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is about time for her to get back, isn't it? Yeah, about that. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll be home soon. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, there's even a fire sound. Nice. Not, not actually not nice. Uh, good. Mom, no. Uh huh. And you have woken up again. Another dream. Oh, Sunny. It's always the same, you didn't witness the death firsthand, but the image that flashed through your head at night are so vivid as though you had been there. Indeed. Oh no. It seems like it didn't matter how many times this dream occurred, you always wake up in a cold sweat, frightened and shaking. Oh. Wait. Oh. Meet our main protagonist. Yay. <laughs> Sunny, uh... A, ch a child with traumatic... Childhood. And the doll! Oh, that's a so cute. A little spoiler, this doll is the main villain of this whole story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? But, well, I don't know. Let's con just continue, shall we? Looks like I kicked off my covers in my sleep again too. Yeah, you're having a nightmare, aren't you? You can never fall asleep. Without that. 
It's as though they are your protection and without them wrapping around your body, you feel defenseless. Uh-huh. But you always wake up only half covered or with no blankets on the bed at all. How long has it been now? Uh-huh. Ten years, huh? Yep, ten years since the incident. So you are now 18? Or 17? 19? I don't know, it's based on the month you were born, you could be 18, but you could also be 19 or 17. 10 years since her death. If only you could just forget it already, but the nightmares won't let you. They force you to continue grieving. Your eyes wander over to the phone next to, you pi to your pillow. Phone? Pillow? There's no phone, you lied to me! What time is it? Just kidding. That's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Can't hurry. <laughs> You're late for, sc for school, aren't you? Oh, hello, Dad. Gray. Or is it Gray? You're getting lazy, girl. Damn, Gray. Sure. You think after all this year, you at least be used to your father's presence, but you still can't stand him. Oh, Gray. I, I, I miss you. I miss you, and you're totally. Punchable face. Yeah, Gray is kind of that kind of awkward father who goes to buy milk, but then comes back, like like that. You know, gone to buy milk and then comes back like, like that. His face is the last thing I want to see after waking up from a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, if if a nightmare is a nightmare, then Gray is a something else. I mean, a nightmare is just a nightmare, but Gray is something real, something that you cannot get away from. Sometimes you wonder why he even bothered to take you in after your mom's death. He is the one that left in the first place. The most likely theory you have decided is guilt. He feel guilty if he left his child alone and adopted you to feel like he's accomplished something. It's almost funny. All he's accomplished is a strained relationship, indeed. Speak your mind or be polite. Huh. Which one should I pick? Uh, you know what, let's just be polite this time. Morning, sorry I'm late. <laughs> What's with the look of surprise? I'm just greeting you in the morning, that's all. Yes, uh, well, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you have a good day. I totally didn't expect that, eh? Ha, huh. it was worth it to be polite even if the only good thing to come out of it was that flustered reaction. He looks like an idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kinda true. Why are you... Did you really lost all that hope for your daughter to be polite to you? Okay. Did you want breakfast? Well, based on what kind of breakfast? Uh, shit. Now I'm the one cough of guard. No, I'm fine. You can feel his eyes following your movement while you get ready for school. It isn't a piercing gaze by any means. More like he's trying to figure out what to say to you. I wish he just speak up instead of staring at me like that. Yeah, I, I, me too. I really wish that. Sitting there like a statue just make him look even more like a fool. He is indeed a fool. But he truly is just a damn fool, isn't he? He, he is. Hi. You turn away from your shocked looking father, at least the flustered reaction you got out of him by ignoring his initial accusation of laziness and the awkward wave goodbye that he offered as you leave were an amusing start to the day. Even though you sleep in, you're not exactly in a rush to get to class. Okay. Oh, where is he? Where is she? Where is she? Enough with Grey that father, I don't care about Grey. Well, I do care a little bit, it's just... Sh shoo, go away. After leaving your child for a long time and then come back like that, just stay away from me a bit. We are searching for another character, one of my favorite. Only a few more months left until I graduate, but I 
but it still feels like too much time. The only real good thing about your final year in high school has been your history teacher. You hoped to end up in her class and were thrilled when you did. Yeah, Sunny is good at history. She has a way of making boring topics seem interesting and goes out of her way to make bonus assignment for a, bo for a boost to your grade. The topics are usually unrelated to the important events in history and instead let students explore more niche interests. Oh, what a good history teacher, not just relying on books, which definitely forged by each government to, you know, sweet hog the nation. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hello there, I'm looking for you. Shannon, my sweet angel. Oh, Shannon, Shannon is just such a sweet heart, a very good friend of... When you arrive at school, you begin to search for your best friend, and you already find found her. Uh huh. Oh. Ah, she is talking to that guy again. They seem to be spending a lot of time together recently. I've actually never seen the sprite of this guy in the demo. Yeah, it's still not implemented back then. Who are you? I forgot. <laughs> She looks kind of busy. By the way, if you're wondering who is this guy, I think it's Shannon's boyfriend? Question mark? Uh-huh. Oh, achievement unlocked. Best friend forever. That's so sweet. Oh, there's a Shannon face there. Mm, I rather think the choice placement is kind of... Mm, it's, it's, it's good. It's just... It's covering Shannon's face. Hmm, so should we interrupt Shannon or should we just interrupt what could go wrong? Your Einar Psyche tutorial is made up of various traits that will affect your dialogue and endings as you progress. The combination of your ego, curiosity, trust, and creativity will help form who you are. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, wait. Look, Shannon, we've been talking for a while now and, um... Hello, boy. That's nice. Shannon, good morning! Sunny! <laughs> Poor boy. Bye bye! Getting ignored by someone you talk. <laughs> no. Getting ignored by someone you're having crush with. Shannon immediately turns her attention away from the boy she's been talking to and faces you instead, rushing up to give you a quick hug. How are you? Fine, Shannon, fine. Same as always, yeah. Just keep having nightmares every day. <laughs> and have to see my father every day. Excellent, isn't it? That's my girl, always Aww. giving me the same old answer day after day. Indeed. I really love the what do you call it? That's my that. girl, always giving me the same old answer day after day. I love the bouncy movement of the sprite. It's kind of cute. But hey, did mm -hmm. you get the link I sent you? No, I forget. I actually forget the link. What's the link? It's been months since I played this game. You mean the one with a link to that? Oh yeah, social media website. You're addicted to? Uh, is it Twitter? Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you sign up yet? No. No, I haven't. You're going to be addicted to that too. <laughs> the poor boy is still behind. I can't. His expression. Oh. Nah, I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Oh, come on. Come At on. Think about mm -hmm. it before you decide. Yeah. I'll show it to you when you visit this weekend. Uh huh, indeed. Fine, fine. You don't really have any interest in joining the website, but you'll agree at least to make Shannon smile. Indeed. Okay, I have something to talk to you about earlier. Uh huh. Oops, sorry, Dusty. Got distracted. Ah, Dusty. So that's your name. Gotta finish this up. We'll talk later, okay? Okay, Shannon. See you later. Bye-bye. Sure, see you later then. School passes by, same and boring as ever. The only highlights are homework for maths and science, and a new art assignment to draw a sketch of someone close to you to turn in by next Thursday. Uh-huh. Finally, the last class of the day arrived. History. Today is the new bonus assignment, right? I hope it will be an interesting topic. This game has a lot of zooming in, zoom out. Zooming in and zooming out. 
and that's not a bad thing because the developer managed to use it effectively to make things alive. While bonus assignments are always optional, almost everyone does a few of them to get that boost to their grade. Hi hi! Hi hi Shannon! You look like you're in a good mood. You betcha I am. I am? Mm-hmm. You got a new boyfriend? Shannon is the type of the popular girl stuff. Not stuff. Trope, yeah. The popular girl trope. Miss Lafay, I think you already know what I'm about to say. Oh, Shannon, come on. Sorry, mm -hmm. do not talk in the class. Shannon rushes back to her desk. There seems to be an unspoken rule that says you and Shannon can be seated next to each other. <laughs> you can thank Shannon for that after pissing off every teacher and student in the whole school with her chattering. But while Shannon desk is across the room from yours, it doesn't stop her from glancing over at you every once in a while and grinning every time she manages to make eye contact. Aw, <laughs> oh, Shannon, you, you're just the sweetest... I'm trying to find a word. I was going to say idiot, but that's just too harsh. I don't know, there, perhaps there's other word in English. The sweetest idiot? No, no, not idiot. It's just too harsh for Shannon. Airhead, yeah. Perhaps airhead? Ditzy? I don't know, something like that. An airhead or a ditzy person I've ever seen. It's the sweetest. Alright everyone, time for the new bonus assignment. This is a fun one and a rather interesting one too. Okay. This week's themes is... Family history, uh, no. Yeah, you know, I don't know how would you write a family history with your father actually gone from your childhood and just coming back now and your mother died in an accident. <laughs> That's right, your assignment is to write about your own family past. Same minimum length as always. I encourage you to look back at to look as far back into your history as you can to get the most out of the assignment. You can actually just lie, just lie though, Sunny. just saying. It will be due in two weeks, okay? You feel all of the previous eagerness you had drained from your body at once. That's a difficult one, indeed. Your family consists of two people, your father who you hate and your mother who died. You know next to nothing about your family past, you never met your grandparents. In fact, you hadn't even met your father until your mother's funeral. Is there anything I could write about? I could ask my father for something to write, but uh, I don't even want to look at him, let alone talk to him. He probably just laugh at me if I'm if I ask him. Sunny, oh yeah. Shannon, sorry, I guess I kind of zone out. I figure that might be the case. She gazes down at you with concern and puts her hand on your shoulder. Are you gonna be all right? Jeez, what was that dummy thinking, giving an assignment like that? Oh, that's the word. Shannon is a sweet dummy. I think that's more of a perfect word for Shannon. Are you gonna be alright? Jeez, what was that dummy thinking given an assignment like that? Indeed. Want me to talk to her about it? No, there's no need for that, Shannon. I'm fine, I don't need to be cuddled. Besides, it's optional anyway. Indeed. Even so, it must have made you sad to have you to think about that, right? I don't want anything to make you feel... I'm fine. <laughs> with with a ball. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. Alright? Please. If you say so. Okay. Shannon has good intentions, but the truth is that talking about this sort of thing out loud tends to make you feel worse. The two of you are long past battling this type of thing out. There was a time when Shannon would insist bottling it up is no good and keep on pushing regardless of your protest. But anyway, don't forget my house tomorrow at noon, sure. 
I won't forget see you then, Shannon, or daily visit to Shannon's house. Not daily, actually, weekly. Uh-huh. I've got something really great to tell you. Okay. Oh, oh, and... Shannon passes the rustle around in her bag. What is it? Oh, coupon! Check this out! There's three of them. Coupons? You betcha to the new smoothie bar opening up on Sunday. Looks like you have three coupons there. I'm pretty sure those are one per customer indeed. It is. Oh, right. The third one is for someone else. Oh. What's that bashful grin all about? <laughs> I don't know. What are you planning, Shannon? But that's not the biggest thing. Look at this one. Oh, strawberry lemonade. Yep. Sunny's favorite flavor. Strawberry. Or lemonade. Or strawberry lemonade. I don't know which one. Your favorite, right? We gotta go sometime. Indeed. Sounds like fun. Tomorrow is Saturday, though. Should we hang out on Sunday instead? Hehehehe. <laughs> Sunday won't work. Oh, I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, okay? Sure, sounds good. Are you going home right away? Yeah, definitely. I was planning to. Why? No reason. I just thought if you have any place to go, I take along. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't want you to get lonely, right, Sunny? Uh huh. Thanks. I'm not going to get lonely between now and tomorrow at noon, so <laughs> don't worry about me so much. Uh huh. Yeah, I should have expected that. She leans in to give you one more quick hug. Oh, see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Why do I get the feeling she wasn't just worried about my loneliness back there? You know Shannon well enough to understand the type of person she is. The sort that thrives on social interaction. A typical extrovert. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey. Typical extrovert, eh? People who enjoy social interaction, that's me. In comparison, it wasn't that you never spoke to other people at all, you tried sometimes, though mostly when prompted by Shannon. People were always polite, but you never got the impression that they actually wanted to be around you. It was more politeness out of obligation. Oh, would you have even befriended Shannon if she wasn't so pushy? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, that reminds me of those memes where an introvert is in a dark place and then the extrovert just come and save them. Uh-huh. Ah. Heart Fragment. TV blaring like always. That you, girl? Yeah, that's me. The volume for the living room turns down a bit after the front door slamming shut alerts him to your presence. Huh? Yeah, it's me. Come to the living room, all right? No, why? Why should I? You're smoking. Do you have to smoke in the house? The smell of his cigarette lingers in the air while he makes a motion with his arm for you to come and sit near him. Mm, no. You're smoking, I don't want to see the smoker. Not happening. You ignore his gesture and sit across the room instead, your father frowns in response. Stupid old man, don't act disappointed. I know you didn't want me near you anyway. Oh, no. He's just dumb. But he's good. Extremely dumb. Uh-huh. I noticed you were making an effort this morning. Could you put away the smoke? Uh-huh. I know that I need to start making more of an effort too. Things have been difficult between us, and a lot of that is on me, indeed. But, that aside, though, so, tell me about your day. How was school? Oh, great. He's trying to bond again. It was fine. Any new project? Anything interesting? Why are you sweating like that? We're, we're just uh, doing uh, some small talk. <laughs> it feels like you're doing a boss fight here. Yeah. 
I'm not going be to be able to escape to my room until this is over with, am I? May as well get it over with. Art and history, I need to draw someone close to me and write about my family history. I'm sure your art assignment will turn down just fine, but... Hey now, family history, huh? Yeah, that. You ever been curious about that sort of thing? Um, uh, hmm. His eyes actually seem to light up with genuine interest when you bring that topic up. Does that mean he does want to discuss it with you after all? But it's never been something he has brought up willingly, willingly on his own. Not really, I'm sure it's all boring anyway. I won't give him the satisfaction of begging for information, indeed. <laughs> Far from boring. Really? Alright, go ahead, tell me just how interesting we are. <sighs> mm-hmm. Can't do that. Why? Come on, just cut to the chase already. If you have something, tell me, tell me. I wish I could, girl. Really do wish it. With all my heart. Really? Okay. With all your heart. Uh, it. <laughs> you probably doesn't have many left since you smoke much. Of course, you are going to go silent now. Typical. You'll have to make something up for your assignment. Well, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Seriously, you are so... Come on, Sunny, it's not th that bad of an idea. Huh? Before you have a chance to retort in frustration, you hear a ringing noise and your father take his phone out of his pocket. Uh-huh. Ah, I gotta take this. Okay. See you later then, smelly poo. <laughs> Sorry. How can he do that? Blabber on incoherently about cryptic crap and then rush off as if he's a victim in an interrogation room. If he's going to try to make me pray for it, I won't give, it, give in to whatever game he's playing. You drive me insane. Those words are mumbled in a soft, barely audible tone. He might have been able to hear them from the next room, or he might not. You don't care either way. It's not like it's the worst, worst thing you ever say to him after all. Did. Ah. I'm sorry, it's not the developer fault. It's my computer can handle those kind of animations. Family history. It should be much more smoother in, in, a decent, in a decent computer. Family history. The blank sheet of paper where you should be writing notes seems to be taunting you by showing off how little truly you know. You truly know. This is stupid. It's not like I need to do this assignment. In fact, you probably have just skipped it entirely if it weren't for your father odds comments. Your eyes wander away from the piece of paper and over to your laptop. You've never thought about searching your family name on the internet before, it's just never seemed important. But why does he have to be so annoying? Uh huh, now time for some search. You pause after making your way to the search engine. What should you search? Your last name? Green. Oh yeah, we can alter our name too here, or last name, but I'm just gonna go with green. Sunny's green. Maybe I should take my mom's name in as well to narrow it down or my father's. Um, our mother seems to be really mysterious right now, so I'm just gonna go with your mother. Yep. You type in the name Luan Green and click enter. News, could this new miracle drug be the answer to humanity's problems? Oh. Orbitory in loving memory. Her obituary. Interesting. You expected that it will be there, but it still managed to make you feel sick to your stomach. You never did read that obituary. At the time it was written, you were just a kid, and reading the obituary wasn't on top of your priority list. But the other result catches your eye. New Miracle Drug? Yes. 
You know that your mother was working on something important when she was alive. It's why you were often being looked after by your babysitter, Lana. Your mother spent a lot of her day-to-day -day life at work. Could this new miracle drug be the answer to humanity problems? This is the news. Is the new miracle drug that in work is in, in the works actually everything it's cracked up to be or just another dude to add to the pile? Surprisingly, it seems this one might actually be the real deal. Although it sounds too good to be true, a laboratory in Sunwood City is currently researching a medication that workers on the project believe has potential to be a cure-all. What does that mean exactly? The answer is simple. It is a drug that may be able to completely eliminate the body of physical disease by gradually eating up the old internal organs and tissue and replacing them with a stronger, smarter form of tissue. Yes, you read that right. That means this panacea drug actually destroys our old body as it replaces it with, a, with the new, and of course, that is where the ethical issues begins to arise. Not only this is a potentially dangerous process, human rights activists are already questioning what the smarter tissue they are referring to really is, and what it will change about the human race if this drug is approved. Many people with physical disabilities have to live their day-to-day -day life facing various forms of radical and oppression. Is the answer to this oppression to simply delete disabilities completely? Some say that instead of implying disabilities are something to rid ourselves of, we should continue to teach acceptance and kindness and spread awareness. What do you think, dear readers? Is this drug the answer to humanity's problems? Or... A recipe for disaster. Ad blocking user, please consider turning off your ad blocking extension off. We know how annoying this advertisement can be, but without them, our site cannot continue to produce the highest quality content available. Thank you for your support and understanding. Uh huh. Okay. Block it. So this is what Mom was working on. The fact that a medication like that is even possible is one thing, but to think your mother was one of the scientists working on it, that would have been a huge discovery. I've never heard about any drug like this. Maybe it wasn't a success. Could be. Your mother didn't talk about work very much. She probably thought it would, be, would all be too advanced for an 8-year-old to understand. I, I'm, I must agree on that. You glance at the date this was published. This was written shortly before she died. A new note to self is available. Interesting. Read the obituary as well. Okay, the obituary too. I may as well navigate back to the obituary too while I'm at it. You hesitantly hover your mouse over the obituary. Why am I so nervous? It's been years. It, it's not a big deal anymore. You sure? Obituary rest in peace, in loving memory. Our hearts go out to her family and friends. We feel deep sorrow as we pronounce the death of a beloved mother, promising scientist, and kind-hearted woman who has passed away following the accident on the Sandwood City Bridge. This loss can only be described as a tragedy for the young woman who was well known and respected among her peers in the scientific community. Luan was described as someone who loved to smile and who in turn loved to make others smile. As an expression of sympathy, the Rest in Peace Foundation will be making a donation to her research institute which aims to create medication for diseases that are currently consider considered untreatable. A light of hope has been left behind though, in the form of 8-year-old daughter. Her husband wished to have the child's name omitted from the obituary. Interesting, a light of hope. What do you mean by that? The unidentified truck driver who caused the crash, leading to one death and several injuries, is still at large. If you have any information about this person, please contact the Sandwood City Police. Interesting. It's a very standard looking obituary aside from one detail, indeed. A light of hope has been left behind, though in the form of her 8 years old daughter, her husband wished to have this child name omitted from the obituary. 
This entire line seems wrong, but taking away the whole Light of Hope line, which was probably only added in to make the obituary draw out more sympathy, why does this refer to your father as her husband? Indeed. They were separated years ago. You're not sure if they ever had a finalized divorce, but he certainly wasn't pre present enough in your lives to refer to him in that way. His presence even invades mom's obituary. They should be dedicated to her and the people who mattered in her life. Oh, not your deadbeat father. But why ask for my name to be omitted? Is that common? Seriously, what goes through that man's head? I'll look up my, dad, my dad's name next. <laughs> News, man fired from job explained his side of the story. Indeed. So the obituary pops under his name too. You expected you expected it from your mother's name, but you are more surprised to see it under father search result. The other result though, man's fired from job explained his side of the story. Is that about my dad or someone else with the same name? I've never heard anything about a newsworthy job termination from him. Since when is a guy getting fired considered news anyway? Man fired from job explained his side of the story. This is news. Last week we reported the job termination of a local office worker. While a man being fired is not our typical news, this particular incident has brought up something interesting, some interesting question when it was revealed that the termination was ordered from outside of the company. Interesting. So there's an abuse of power here. We spoke directly with Gray, the man involved, about the events. I am shocked at what took place. I've been fired from a position I held for many years over false accusations. My boss didn't want to let me go but was ordered to get rid of me. What is most confusing about this situation is that termination order did not come from any higher ups in the company either. Instead, some outside influence had to say a say in the matter. No one, not even the man himself, know where this order came from. Came from. But what was the reason for the termination in the first place? The answer is just as cryptic as anything else on this matter. Accessing restricted content through the company's internet connection. It has not been specified what exactly restricted content is in reference to. If I had to guess, I say someone powerful must be pulling the figurative strings here, said Gray. I don't know who or why, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Published on March 19, 2035, huh? That's about a year before I was born. So your father was fired from his job for accessing restricted, restricted contents, but no one actually knows what this restricted content supposedly was. Sounds like he wasn't just accessing adult content or something like that. <laughs> well, I mean, if you access adult content and get fired by some powerful force from outside, I, I, I don't, I, I don't think that's plausible, plausible at all. Or perhaps Gray have some weird kinks that is truly sinister. What kind of content will be restricted enough for someone outside of the company to order his job termination? Weird. This is just too weird. Mom was working on, all, on a cure-all, miracle drug, and my father was fired over accessing some sort of restricted files. Achievement log? Searching files. Finding the truth. They seem like completely unrelated events, but I feel like there's a connection between them somehow. Yeah, there could be. You might have to suck it up and ask your father for more info tomorrow. Indeed. Oh. We are back to the dream. Hello. Once upon a time, there was a boy. Oh? Hello, boy. This boy was given a red hood by his grandmother. He wore the hood at all times, so much that everybody started to call him Little Red Riding Hood. Hello. I will be sure to take care, said, Lit said Little Riding Hood. 
after promising not to talk to strangers nor to stray from the path. Indeed. When you awaken, it's still dark. The words spoken are quiet, just loud enough for them to wake you from an odd dream. Psst. You awake? Well, sure I am. Who are you? I already know who this is, but I'm just gonna pretend I do not know. Come on, wake up. This is important. Yeah, I'm not going to respond to a voice that suddenly talks to me in the middle of the night. You pull the covers up over you. Indeed, that's a good idea. Dad? She's not so loud, you'll wake Gray. Okay. My name's Kay. Ah, hello, Sorry Kay. If I frightened you. Okay. You didn't frighten me. Yeah, you didn't frighten me. You try not to let your voice quake. <laughs> Showing fear to a malicious stranger will just give them all the more reason to continue, right? <laughs> all right, if you say so. Okay. Sorry about that. I promise I'm not here to hurt you. All right. I'm here to warn you, actually. Warn me from what? You feel your heart beating in your chest and look over towards the sound of the voice. Hello there. There at the window. You can just barely make out of the outline of someone in the moonlight. You speak out loud enough for the voice to hear you, but you don't drop your guard. Warn me about what? You're in danger. Really big danger. Okay. You, you can't tell anyone who you are. You, you may not know me, but I know you. Okay. I promise you, if you tell anyone about the things you learned today, things will go terribly wrong. Yeah, that sounds really ominous, isn't it? Does he mean the news article I read earlier or something else? There's someone after you. His name is Jasper. Jasper? After me? Yeah. Please be careful. One wrong move and things will go terribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, okay. The voice repeats their warning as if to emphasize it. Sonny, are you still up? Your father's voice suddenly calls out from the hall. The mysterious voice drops further into a whisper. Now the bare minimum. You can hardly hear it. I have to go now. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. I'll be back soon. Be careful. Uh huh. You hear a faint sound like someone jumping down to the ground outside and then footsteps running away. You glance out your window just in time to see a shadow running out. And you're left alone, confused by the strange words spoken to you. I will be more confused about how who that person is. Saturday! Wait, am I? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to click. Okay, so we have reached the next day. I'm going to end each episode on the next day when we reach one. So I guess that's all for episode 1 of Heart Fragment. I hope you enjoy it. I see a lot of major improvement on the game, definitely. See you later then in the next episode. Bye-bye.